Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. I hope that everybody's doing well. Uh, this is the next segment. This is success principle number three. I'm a little behind the day on my 10 under 10 success principles for the day, but I'm working on it. This is number three. Uh, one of my favorites. Don't care about what other people think. Stop being concerned about what other people think and what other people are going to say. Do you know how many people never take the first step because of the fear of what someone else is going to say? The fear of disapproval, the fear of people whispering behind their backs, the fear of ridicule. What somebody thinks about your vision is irrelevant. What somebody thinks about what you plan to do with your life is irrelevant. If they don't get on board, if they can't see what you see they're not meant to be a part of the journey you find you like-minded people you find you somebody that is on the same plane the same frequency the same vibration they have the same energy level pull together together with them and sync your energy so that you can compel uh, com uh propel yourself into a stratosphere that most people never experience see most people will want to project their limited beliefs onto you. They will want you to abide by the parameters and the boundaries that have governed their lives for as far as they far back as they can remember. They will superimpose their ideas, beliefs, and, and, and suppositions on you. And if you allow them to, they will lock you into a mediocre lifestyle that does not represent the superiority of your design. So what am I saying? I'm saying that you've got to be willing to step out and believe in yourself when no one else does. I'm saying that you can't base who you are and what you will become on someone else's opinion. Never allow someone else's opinion of you to define your reality. Absolutely, unequivocally, no. Stop caring about what other people say. Now, if you've got somebody that can believe in what you're saying, I'm not saying... Don't have someone that will pull on your coattail when you're venturing off from what you know you need to be doing. I'm not saying don't get someone uh, that will hold you accountable. What I'm saying is the people you need around you, even the ones that, is go that are going to hold you accountable, have to be able to see your vision. They have to believe in you. They have to be... Matter of fact, you need somebody in your circle that even when you stop believing in yourself, they believe. You need that type of environment, that type of energy. So this is my challenge to you. My challenge is to be very careful about what you give gravity to. Be very careful about what you give weight to. Stop taking other people's opinions of you as if they're gold, as if they're solid, as if they are the all-encompassing reality and truth about who you are. That's not the truth. The truth is you can become anything you desire to be if you're willing to go the distance, if you're willing to pay the price. Uh, I've heard it said before that life will pay whatever price you demand of it if you're willing to make the sacrifice. See, when you make a demand on life, life says, okay, sure. Here's the counter demand. You know, I, uh, you put the life on demand. I want a six pack. Life is going to say, Psh, you got it. Okay, you're going to have to watch your carbs. You're going to have to look at the kind of carbs you eat. You're going to have to increase your activity. You're going to have to spend a, another hour and a half a week in the gym, two to three hours a week in the gym. You're going to have to put in blah, 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 blah. Life's going to make that counter demand. And then it's up to you to say, you know what? I'm up for it. Yes, I'm going to put the hours in. I'm going to uh, be disciplined in my eating. I'm going to do the things I take because at the end of the day, it can be done. You can sit up and tell life, uh, you can 
tell life, I want my own business. Life is going to say, okay, you're going to stop partying so much. You're going to have to start hanging out with guys that have no aspirations, no vision, no dream, no, no determination. You're going to have to find some people that's about that life and you're going to have to hang around them. That's what you're going to have to do. Life will pay you what you demand of it, but it's going to make a counter demand. You have to meet the counter demand. When you meet the counter demand, you will have exactly what you have demanded of life. On that note, I'm going to get off of here. I've got a lot more to get back at you today before the day is over. We're running a little late. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this thing we're doing 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 every day. I'm going to bring it to you. It doesn't cost you anything but five to seven minutes or so. I'm going to give you 10 under 10. Everything's going to be under 10, except for maybe that morning session. That first session is going to be where I'm coming off of when I first wake up. So I'm coming off of morning meditation, prayer meditation. I'm coming off of a zone and a place where there's so much I want to get out. and It's hard for me to do it in under 10. But all the rest of them will be 10, 10 minutes or less and roughly around the five to seven minute mark, just enough to hit the hit hit the uh, the point home and drop it off on you so you can me uh, meditate on it, so you can think on it, so you can process it, digest it, and then make it make it work for you. This one I hope uh, does that is that does exactly that. Look, as I always say, I'm gonna live my life on full. When I leave this place, I'm gonna die on E. What that means is I'm not gonna leave any of my potential on the table. I'm going to take every moment I have in this world to bless somebody, to touch somebody, to empower somebody, to lift somebody, to do something ex ex uh, extraordinary and spectacular. Not to have pats on the back, not to get my name in some book, but to sit up and know that I came, I saw, I conquered. The world is a different place because I'm in it. That is my legacy. That's what I'm leaving my children, my grandchildren, and my great grandchildren, and down the line. That I came and the moment wasn't bigger than me. That's my challenge to you. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day.